Hello, it's Epsilon Emerald. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke Challenge. And this, I believe, is episode 16. So, um, last episode we left off, um, in Celadon City. And, um, we got our rainbow badge and everything. And now, we've come to Lavender Town. And, um, we'll come back to Lavender Town. And, here's our team at the moment. So, we've got Pikachu, Truffles. We've got Hinky. The Gloom. And did I teach him Mega Drain? Yes, I did. Good. <laughs> We've got Cameron, the Charmeleon. We've got Cryothang, the Vaporeon. We've got our newest member of the team, Fluffy, the Doduo, which I did teach Fly, which is how I got back to Lavender Town so quickly. <laughs> And we've got, of course, Zexion, the Alakazam. So we've got a really good team. And now, um, we came back to Lavender Town because we got the Sylph Scope from um, the uh, Team Rocket hideout. So now we can go into the Lavender Tower. And uh, we can save... Uh, is his name Mr. Fuji? Is that his name? And, um, get the, uh, Poké Fleet. So, um, who are we putting at the front? I'm tempted to put Fluffy at the front. Because it's normal type, so ghost type Pokémon can't hurt it. That's a pretty good strategy there. Okay, let's go. Oh, and we will get a random account encounter here. I'll check how many Pokeballs I've got. I've got plenty. Cool. Okay, let's go. I think I've already gone the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, it's Epsilon. <laughs> Your Pokemon don't look dead. <laughs> uh, I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Of course, I'm doing a Nuzlocke, so fainting is... Mm. So there's a, um, a theory that the reason why your rival is here is because he's mourning the death of his Rattata. Well, actually, no, I think it evolved. It's Raticate. Um, right, okay. I think we're gonna switch. Because that Fero, it was pretty strong last time. Well, I think it was just a Spearow last time, but it used um, a Fury attack and it almost destroyed us. That's easy. Shelter. Let's stick with Pikachu. Vulpix. I want a Vulpix, not fair. <laughs> um, who do we use against fire types these days? Oh, of course. I forgot we have a poor one. <laughs> Cryofang. So cool. Four pigs is so cute though. I want one. Sanchu, we'll stay in. Mm, Sanchu is cute too. I used to have one. Eevee. 
let's stick with the Karifang so Evie can see what its potential future is. Except um, Epsilon's going to evolve his into a Jolteon. Eevee's actually pretty good. Surviving my bubble beam. You stinker. <laughs> get an encounter here, it's um, it's gonna either be Ghastly, Haunter or Cubo, so that's pretty cool. There's graves, but it's in a building, so it's not like you can bury something in a building. You can't bury something indoors, especially not like upstairs. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't really get it. Let's fly. We all know that's not real. Oh, here's our first encounter. Who's it gonna be? It's a ghastly. Oh, I forgot to check my nickname list. Oh, someone gave me a nickname for ghastly. What was it? Anyway, let's try and catch this. Oh, I thought that was gonna die there. Okay, Pokeball. Did it just use? Oh, Nightshade. So Nightshade works even though it's a ghost type move because it does a fixed amount of damage, which is um, damage equal to the attacking Pokemon's level. Yes, we caught it. I'm gonna have to really quickly look up um, my YouTube comments on my computer. Oh, I skipped the Pokedex. <laughs> It has no real shape, as it appears to be made of a gas. You know, if I was making up my own uh, nickname, I'd probably name it after that gas guy from uh, One Piece. What was his name? Caesar Clown? That's what I would call him. <laughs> okay, let me just look up the nickname. Okay, yes, I knew someone had given me a suggestion for this. Um, Mega Sizzle TCG said, if you get a Gengar, this is close enough, right? He said, name it Josh. I don't know why, maybe that's his name. But that's what we're gonna do. Josh. Cool. I've never used a... Wait, did we come from there? No. I've never used a Ghastly or, you know, Haunter or Gengar. I don't think I have, anyway. But they're pretty cool Pokemon, aren't they? Right, I've got to make sure that I get the thing. Is there something I need to pick up? Or do I just... I just go through. Okay, I think I just go through. There's like a patch that heals you, isn't there? Where's that? lost track of what floor we're on. Oh well. Can 
confused, right? That's annoying. Is he in that? I shouldn't hit either, because that's a ghost type move. But... Whoa, Fluffy, your attack is high. Okay, my Fluffy cannot survive a nightshade. Therefore, I'm going to heal it. It would be dead now. It can survive another nightshade, so I just hope I don't hurt myself. Okay, I can keep going, yeah. Actually now that I think about it, that was a bit dangerous. Because if I'd hit myself in confusion and been nightshaded, I think I could have quite easily died. Oh well. I'm not confused anymore, right? I'll do 23. It's quite an annoying move actually, isn't it? <laughs> I'm really excited to be using a dojo because I've never used one before. Because generally, like you use Pidgey or Spiro. Um, and there'd be like at this point in the game, you just wouldn't. Um, you wouldn't want a new flying normal type, you know. So. It's pretty cool. Um, this is oh, this is the level with the healing patch, I think. It's gonna run away from all the encounters because there's no point fighting them really. The good thing about Dojuo is it can run away from everything. Hmm. She doesn't fight you. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I felt like fighting her for some reason. Zombies! They all just have ghastly, like, does no one have... Well, I guess that's the only ghost Pokemon there is really, isn't there? That's a weird laugh. I don't know if I want that item. Probably not. My bag is full anyway. Okay, I've got to go up here. Kick, 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 kick. I don't know what that was. Sounded a little bit like some kind of weird ASMR. Maybe that's a trigger word for some people. It's 
that? Is that doing anything for you? <laughs> I know, okay, it's a trigger word for a lot of people. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. I actually kind of like it. <laughs> um, what's the name? ASMR Darling. She put out a video the other day. A haircut video. And the audio was really messed up. Like, the microphone sounded terrible. But you know what? It's still so good. <laughs> I love haircut videos. Like, that's for me, is just perfect ASMR. And she kept saying, okay, okay. And like, I was kind of like, oh, well, that's, that's annoying. Why does she keep saying that? But at the same time, it was really, yeah, I really liked it. <laughs> I'm curious to know, those of you who watch my ASMR videos, do you generally watch them to fall asleep? Or do you just watch them for relaxation or... Because I never used to watch ASMR to fall asleep too. Um, for, more for one thing, I never... I never used to... Well, I still don't... I, ne I never need help going to sleep. Like, I'm so fortunate that... Was this a wild battle? Um, no, I think it's a trainer. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I don't have any problems sleeping generally. Probably because I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have trouble sleeping. So, um, I used to just watch ASMR videos just like in the middle of the afternoon just for, just because I liked it. <laughs> and, um, I like watching ASMR videos whilst doing other things. It's like background noise kind of thing. And, um, um, I, if, because I do have, like, anxiety problems sometimes, um, just this past year, um, is this, is this a world battle? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just this past year I've had a few, um, ooh, be gone, intruders. Is this the Marowak? Ghost appears. Silphscope unveiled the ghost's identity. Wild Marowak appeared. It says Wild Marowak, but I believe you can't catch it. I'm pretty sure you can't catch it. Um, I'm a little bit scared of Marowak, so we're going to Hinky, are we? Or should we go to... I think we're going to... Um, We're going to cry a fang. Because if it uses a ground attack, um, that will be normal damage against Hinky, but it will be um, resisted by cry fang. Does water resist ground? I don't even know. It's irrelevant. We killed it. <laughs> we put its soul to rest. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. Interesting, so Pokemon have afterlife. I find the whole religion of um, Pokemon, not religion, you know, like, I find the, the Pokemon universe kind of creation is quite interesting. Because, uh, okay, apparently Arceus created everything like he's like the god pokemon um and then but palkia created space and dialga invented time and then like um yuxia self mesper invented the emotions and <laughs> um it's like and then mew was like the mother of all pokemon so she was like the first pokemon like and then everything else was born from her or something like this, I don't know I just, I find that all quite interesting but there is an afterlife, okay what happens in the afterlife in Pokemon? like, 
do they did Pokemon get judged? Um I probably should have just used Peck. Oh well. Yeah, it's a very interesting concept. And um in in the Pokemon world, does everyone believe in all of it? Or do like do some do some people not believe in Arceus? Um and is Arceus just the god of Pokemon, or did he also create humans? Or is is that a different god? Is that like, you know, the actual god? It's, um, yes. It's quite interesting to think about. What I was saying before <laughs> was um this this past year I've started having some anxiety attacks um, and ASMR is like perfect for dealing with those because it's like it's just really calming and um, it's like. That's weird. It's like um, just a really nice way of um, just reassuring you that everything's okay. Or I don't know. You came to save me. Thank you. But I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay. Emerald, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your Pokemon. I think this may help your quest. I love the Poke Flute. It's so useful in battle. You know, I can th throw away all my awakenings now. Well, not true actually, because awakenings you can use outside of battle. But the poker flute you can't use. Although um, lately I actually have been listening to ASMR before going to sleep. Not really because I need it, but because it's kind of like it's just quite nice. But um, well, number one, I'm concerned for like fire safety because I feel like having a laptop on a bed whilst you sleep is not good for you um but uh also like it's really annoying once you fall asleep like my my um my headphones when um when they haven't detected any sound for however long they turn themselves off and they make this horrible like do 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 noise <laughs> And that just wakes me up. <laughs> and also, I don't really want to sleep whilst wearing massive headphones because that's kind of uncomfortable. But I don't know. I guess I could get those little headphones. But right, what are we doing now then? Um, we're supposed to head to Saffron City. Um, do I need cut? Maybe. Let's just try without it. Um, where's the Snorlax? Is it over here? Um, I forgot to turn. No, there's a Snorlax. Isn't it like... Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Um, there's two Snorlaxes. One of them is to the left of Celadon. Where am I going? Celadon. Okay, and then here is 
Okay, here's where the Snorlax is, and then this is the cycling road. And then you can like surf to get to Vermilion uh, Cinnabar. We're not going there though. No, that's Cinnabar. That must be Fuchsia. So we can go like that and go to Fuchsia. Except, can we go to Fuchsia? Because isn't that surfing? I don't know. Or we can go. Oh, actually, I think there's another Snorlax here. We're trying to get to Saffron though, which is that one, isn't it? Hmm. What's the best way to get to Saffron City? We could just give the guards a drink, right? Mind you, we could have done that before, so... Hmm. Let me work this out. Hmm. You know, I don't want to use. Let me look at the town map. That's easier. You know, it doesn't let you press like left and right, only up and down. <laughs> okay, route five. Okay, so if we go south from Cerulean, there's like a tunnel there that's blocked off because the guards are thirsty, but I think because we have a drink, I think we can get through there now. Or we could go to Vermilion and go up. Um, see, we're in Lavender Town, so can't we just go? What's. There must be a Snorlax there. Okay, let's try going this way. Oh, also, um, I think if you press select. <laughs> trying to move it up. There's a way to do this. Someone told me about it. Okay. I think I probably want it on the first slot, don't I? Okay, there we go. So now the bike is at the top of the list. I haven't fought all of these trainers. Oh well. Ooh, I skipped those ones, that's good. Right. What's up there? So I think this gatehouse, they might let me through now because I have a drink. I hope you took my water, not my lemonade. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm here, I'm in Saffron City. I didn't need to wake up a Snorlax to do this. That must be for other reasons. I think getting to Fuchsia City you need the Snorlax. Okay, so well, there's lots of things to do in uh, Saffron City. Um, let's get on the bike. I think the first thing we'll do is go in here and get the 
the GM for Psychic. Which, um, I mean, Alakazam now has Psybeam, so he doesn't even really need Psychic. But, you know what, I'm still gonna teach it to him. Because it's so good. Oh wait, or... Wait, what if Alakazam dies? Okay, you know what, I'm not gonna teach it yet. <laughs> Okay, what else do we need to do? Um, we can go to get a... Uh, mm, it's like the copycat girl, but I don't really care about that. Um, then we've got a gym. And then we've got the Team Rocket thingy as well. Um, can we... Hmm. Let's go to the Pokemon Center first. Um, which I think is actually... Oh, it's down here. Okay, let me get on the bike. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, okay, so we'll end here. <laughs> This cookie obviously needs my attention. <laughs> yes, baby. And um and yeah, we'll do that next time. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this episode and um uh, stick around for the next one in a couple of days. <laughs> Sorry about cookie. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.